the guys Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you so much for watching this video. Today I've got a very exciting Cinema 4D tutorial uh, to release to you guys. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Displacer. Um, I actually came across this when I was looking at a plugin in Cinema 4D and it kind of, it, the, the demo uh, towards it and like the preview, it had this sphere and it was it was all jagged on the top and it kind of looked quite nice and um, I had my own go at actually recreating this. Uh, as you see here, this is actually my Facebook page, so um, I often uh, a lot of projects I work on or just random things often upload here, and this was one of them. And you see the top of the sphere, it's, it's kind of like a mountain, well not a mountain range, you know, uh, it's all jagged at the top, and you can pretty much do uh, this on anything. This is using the displacer. Um, I think it looks best on a sphere. Uh, you can do it with text or whatever, um, but I think that's all talk. I think we'll get to it now. Uh, Cinema 4D. And so we're just going to start off, and obviously I'm going to be on a uh, You can add in text that is I go into the display. Placer as a. The displace. The shade, shader, this is kind of going to be the effect that's actually created. Uh, so we need to go to uh, shader and we need to add a noise. Um, noise is often added in bump to give it a bit more uh, oomph and depth. Uh, but you hear it's used to kind of shrivel up, as you see immediately. Uh, we've kind of got a distorted to be like a rock kind of, if you have the right texture, it could kind of pull it off. And that's all there. So once you've got that, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to move it up a little bit and I'm going to make a floor like so, set up the scene and once the displace is in um, now literally this is how you use a displace, you drag it as a child uh, you can do many different effects uh, I'm going to be working on this kind of effect that we created here uh, so to do this uh, and uh, fall off if you go to shape and you go to box uh, and kind of stretch out the box just so it kind of fills out the sphere like so and then also if you go to object and strength, if you increase the strength uh, you see that weird things seem to happen uh, as well as if you change the height you've got a very weird um, kind of abstract shape to happen uh, also this is actually a very good way uh, to create them quick abstract shapes uh, also if you use this to text as well uh, you can kind of keyframe it and so it kind of comes into the abstract mesh or whatever and it kind of evolves into the text, that's a good way there uh, nice effect and I haven't really been used if I'm perfectly honest uh, so back to the displacer, uh, we obviously don't want it that strong, so tone down the strength and the height. And I'm uh, going to implode and out, explode. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we're going to drag the uh, the box to the top, like so, as you only want it to uh, affect the top of the sphere. Uh, this can work with whatever, you can drag it to the bottom of the sphere, should you wish. Uh, I'm going to drag it to the top for the time being, like so. And that's not as jagged as the one, so obviously you just need to literally play around uh, with the strength settings and the height and whatnot. And to be perfectly honest, that is it. Uh, as you see, if you render this out here, uh, it's really jagged. Uh, the ends, if you want to kind of smooth out, uh, go to hyperurbs and drag the sphere as a child of the hyperurbs, like so. And again, you get a really nice effect. It's, it's a weird effect. It kind of makes, I can't really describe it, uh, but this kind of rounds off the edges, makes it smooth, uh, so it gets rid of all the jagged. If you want them in the middle, uh, change the subdivision editor, uh, for example, if you change it to 1, uh, it'll, it'll be like jagged like it just was, and you can edit it to 5 or whatever. Uh, it's actually just the scale of how smooth or how many segments there are. Uh, so it was on 2 and that was fine. So there we go, a uh, nice effect. Uh, so that is using the displacer. Uh, you can use it on text, as I said. Uh, Hyperurb if you want it rounded. Uh, I'm not sure if it's really tall, more of a tip or whatever. Uh, but anyway, I'm going away in a few days, so I thought I'd get a video uh, or a tutorial out, uh, as I don't like to keep it over a week or whatever. Uh, so that's all from me. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you learned something. Uh, I like to see this used about in a few intros or whatever. Um, if you if you use it, send it in. Send me a message with the video attached, and I'll check it out, whatever. And um, Let's see what you guys can come up with this, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll end it there. Thanks for watching this video, Connor Chrome Designs. 
and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.